Carter in at the center, filling out the middle. And for the Pistons, running the wings, they'll go with Ivy and Bay. Isaiah Stewart out there with Bogdanovich. And it's Cunningham in at the point guard. Now, here's Cunningham. And there's Bogdanovich. That's good on the assist by Cunningham. Well, Bogdanovich looking so comfortable close to the rim. Just extends past the defense beautifully. Knocked loose. Inside. Bancaro, that's good. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Now, here's Bancaro. Bogdanovich missing his last shot. Such a wide open look. The fans certainly used to the three ball flying from Cole Anthony. He is not shy, folks. Here's Ivy. The 19-footer is on the money. 15 seconds left to play in the first. And here's Anthony for three. It's hauled in by Stewart. Bogdanovich looking around. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Magic lead by one. The Magic, five. Here comes the and we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far in the scoreboard. And from what we've seen from Orlando, what do you guys see? Just a terrific first quarter, sparked really by their unselfishness. I'll tell you, that willingness to make the extra pass, that is what creates good looks. It also forces the defense to scramble. This is how the floor looks for the Magic start in the second. We've got Hampton. Wagner is out there with Bumble. Then it's Terrence Ross. And it's Okiki in at the three, the small four. Orlando shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And with all the youth of this Magic team, you feel like, Doris, they are on the verge of something big. For their fan base, Kevin, you certainly hope so. What you're really looking for is maybe the breakthrough that the Cleveland Cavaliers had last year. A textbook job of rebuilding with youth and quality trades. You have to stay patient and understand this is a process. Well, don't let that lean frame fool you. Mo Bamba able to muscle through contact. Nice. Duran, no good. Now, here's Hampton. D right on him. It's tipped. Here's Knox. Takes it inside. About size, mobility, ability to handle off the dribble drive. Well done on the dunk, Kevin Knox. Ross against Diallo. No good from Ross. Hayes, the pass delivers. Up in time. And it's good, but hold on. The officials may want to look at that one on the replay monitor. The teams are going to have to wait before heading to the locker room. They're going to bring out the monitor and see if they got that shot off in time. Yeah. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second. Yeah. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny. It was a closely contested first quarter for Detroit. And in that period, the most they trailed by was three. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. The backcourt guards are Cunningham and Ivy. Sadiq Bey is out there with Bogdanovich. And it's Stewart in at the five spot. They're the group for Dwayne Casey starting the second half. And Carroll, and it's good for two. And Carroll's got his second basket of the night. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about, threatening with that attack. Pass to Carter. And finish 
job by Carter. Boy, that's a big time effort play by Wendell Carter Jr. This guy gives you everything he's got. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam King. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Detroit shooting their first shots from the free throw line tonight. So it's both teams making substitutions here. He hits the second from the line. Sting a little bit, failing to get the lead when the opportunity was there, but he does tie it up. Anthony's shot is off. Now, here's Ivy. He's guarded by Ross, and Duran slams it in. This uh, game has a lot of character here in the third period. Six changes of the lead here. Intensity is the theme for this one. Three quarters of play in a close game here. It's Detroit. They lead by a bucket. Live from Little Caesars Arena, you're watching 2K Sports. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate. And how about the setup this was? How about the secondary playmaking you are getting? Great to have that from the shooting guard spot. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. Fourth quarter on the floor for the Magic. The guard pair for them, Anthony and Son. At the forward position, it's Wagner and Ben Carroll. And it's Bamba in at the five, patrolling the paint. And that one sends the bench into a frenzy. I'll tell you, these guys have worked so hard together. Everyone pulling in the same direction. Beautiful to watch. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. During that last break, I got a chance to hear what Jamal Mosley said to his team. He told them they have to pick it up. He said there's no time like the present, fellas. Embrace the moment. And let's take back this game. See what they can do, Kevin. All right, David, thanks. Can't afford these defensive breakdowns, especially down the stretch. And right now, neither side can get a stop. Looks like both coaches will have plenty of material for the film room. Guys, it's come down here to a very important possession. No room for error. What a great score. Bronson Wagner gets it off quickly. So little time to react. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. It's tied at 17. There's 21 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, Paolo Bancaro. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. And that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. And they still have a foul to give at this point. Now a timeout called by Orlando. They're trailing by two. 12 seconds left in the fourth quarter is what you take. And they've got plenty of time to get a basket. Well, they've got to be aggressive, guys, because the defense doesn't want to foul here. Anthony, the pass to Van Carroll. For the tie. Oh, he couldn't make that shot go to force overtime. 